And keep in mind, I got red bottoms on. What's up YouTube? Back at it again with another sneaker review. This is the KD number seven. I'm just kidding. This is, this is a pair of KD 13s, but he now wears number seven. As a result, the box says Kevin Durant number seven on it. The back got a nice little signature. Nike logo. Label, sticker, foot locker, tag. Nice little colorway on the box. This is a pair of bread 13s. KD 13 bread colorway. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Useless foot locker paperwork. Return form, I might need that. Here they are in all their glory right here. This is a pair of KD-13s in the bread colorway. There's a lot of interesting stuff to talk about with this shoe. It's a brand new KD. I haven't, I haven't seen one of these ever before, I'm pretty sure. This is a brand new colorway. The KD-13 is a few months old now, but this bread colorway is brand new. It's, it's only a few days old. The bottom of the shoe is pretty interesting. It's a different grip pattern than before. I hope there's no injuries with KD on the KD-13. This bread colorway is really nice though, I, I must admit. The grip pattern at the bottom is pretty good. We're gonna throw them on in a second and see how they feel while dribbling a basketball. Nike logo right there. Kevin Durant number seven on the tongue. Pretty cool if you ask me. Let's take a second to find out what the sole says. The sole says a lot. I don't think we can pull it out. But we will try and make something happen right here. Kevin Durant, number seven. Zoom, double stacked air, zoom. System, full length air zoom, four foot air zoom. There's a lot of zoom in the shoe right here. Let me know what you think of these in the comment section below. There is a StockX affiliate marketing link to get yourself a pair of these on StockX. So as I was saying before my camera battery died, link in the description below to get yourself a pair of these on StockX. It is a StockX affiliate marketing link, so it does help out the channel. Make better content in the future, maybe. Got that Air Zoom logo right at the bottom of the shoe here. As always, we're gonna throw them on foot and you can let me know how they look. Very interesting materials here. This is like a patent leather up here, upper right there on the Nike logo, kind of. I wouldn't call it a patent leather because it feels kind of rubbery or plasticky. This is definitely patent leather type material. I think this is like a flyweave type material. Let's pull up the other shoe. Here we have it. The second pair. Also got, got that Kevin Durant number seven on the tongue, which is pretty confusing because these are the KD-13s. Anybody know why he switched his number? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's see how these look on foot. Let's take a second to dial in the correct zoom here. Before, before we, we do that, let's just check out this little hidden KD logo back here. It's covered by this mesh situation, which is very interesting. Gonna see how they look on foot in just a second here. Let's put them on together 
so you know how how difficult it is or how easy it is because i know for a lot of you who are, who are super late to like basketball games and practice you gotta have a shoe that gets on your feet real quick Here we are, it feels pretty nice. As soon as I put them on, I'm quite satisfied. I'm gonna tie them up nicely here. I'll try and talk you through how they feel as basketball shoes. I know most of you aren't playing basketball these days because of the whole pandemic situation, but maybe in the future we'll be able to play in some KD13s that you bought from StockX using the affiliate marketing link below. Maybe some bread 13s, you never know. I definitely don't think this is the fastest shoe to put on. It's not the slowest shoe either. It does take a quick minute. Another thing I should say is this patent leather strap here is connected to the lacing system, which gives you a lot more lockdown right here. Might be a good thing, might not. Finally have them on foot here, and as you can see, they look fire with some joggers. If you're looking for a pair of joggers for yourself, definitely check out the Amazon affiliate link to buy a pair of Xanarobes. It's in the description. The joggers will be pretty nice. You'll probably get a good deal. Joggers stack really well with sneakers, so they look great. Not as noisy as I would hope for. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I like my sneakers squeaky. Let's get a basketball and see how they react. So we finally got the basketball on deck. Definitely a good shoe. Let's check out some more footage. As you can see on foot, these are pretty fire. This is an awesome colorway and that Nike logo pops really well. Very comfortable pair of shoes. The lockdown feels pretty good. I feel a lot of support, especially around the ankles. It might be a little bit tight around my toes. It's not a bad thing, not ideal.
Definitely let me know what you think of these in the comment section below. I think these are pretty fire. Before I end off the video, I just want to say if you want to see more content like this, Nike outlet finds, definitely like, subscribe to the video, comment, tell me, tell me more about what you want to see. And keep in mind, I got red bottoms on. Based on this footage, honestly, I think everyone should go out and buy themselves a pair of KD-13s just to rock. It's a great streetwear shoe, even if it's not for you for basketball. I'm gonna have a KD-12 versus KD-13 video coming soon, so definitely subscribe to check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the 17th time. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.